National Accessibility Week is here, a time to recognize the contributions of Canadians with disabilities and the efforts of those who are actively working to remove barriers to accessibility. Some of our employees shared their experiences with us. Let's find out what they have to say. Hi, my name is Joel Sarson. I'm a Change Management Officer here at the Office of Public Service Accessibility in TBS. I'm the project lead on several projects that the Centralized Enabling Workplace Fund manages, including the Neurodiversity Recruitment Pilot Project. I've been a person with disabilities from the very beginning of my 18-year career in the public service. My disabilities are all related to a stroke that I had when I was 20 years old. Personally, I've been involved with the accessibility file for 10 years and I've gotten used to my role as an advisor, guide, and specialist in the accessibility file. However, I lost the hearing in my left ear in 2015, and in 2022, I lost the hearing in my right ear as well. Because my disabilities were evolving and impacting my day-to-day -day life, I was very thankful to have certain policies in place to help me along the way. The accessibility passport Allow, allowed my manager and I to share obstacles that, was ha that I was having in MS Teams, uh, in tasking, and I was able to discuss those without any of the stigma that persons with disabilities usually experience. Once my director and I established what I need, the Workplace Accommodation Center here at TBS was helpful in setting up a meeting with the Accessibility Accommodation and Adaptive Computer Technology Office at Shared Services Canada. The Workplace Accommodation Center monitored my needs and followed up with me to make sure I was taken care of. All of these services were related to the Centralized Enabling Workplace Fund in one way or another. Hello, my name is Anna Roy Smith and I'm a Policy Analyst at the Canada School of Public Service. I live with cerebral palsy and I use a sunny yellow walking bicycle to live independently. My team implemented an equitable approach to the hybrid workplace. Being as the commute from my home to the school is dangerous due to the unsafe infrastructure for cyclists and pedestrians with disabilities. My thoughtful colleague set up a carpooling system to support my barrier-free return to the office. Once a week, my colleague arrives at my home with a medium-sized vehicle to pick me up and drop me off with my walking bicycle. With nurturing support from my colleague, I am able to enjoy a barrier-free day at the office. My colleague does not frame her act of kindness as going above and beyond the job description. Simply put, she is a thoughtful friend who is intentionally walking our talk and our commitment to building an accessible and disability inclusive federal public service. The work we've accomplished so far is impactful and helping many. In the year ahead, we'll continue to work towards ensuring persons with disabilities have an equal chance to participate to their full potential. The theme for this year's public service wide celebration is learn from yesterday, change today, enhance tomorrow, building an accessible public service together. I encourage you to participate in this week's events and to reflect on how we can create a more accessible public service together. Happy National Accessibility Week.